Welcome to Introduction to Data Acquisition and Signal Conditioning. This seminar covers electrical measurements and is presented in two parts. Part 1 covers DC voltage, AC voltage, and current. Part 2 discusses resistance, Wheatstone bridges, single-ended and differential measurements, and Kelvin connections. The agenda for today's presentation covers electrical measurements, part one. Look for electrical measurements, part two, in a following seminar. First, let's take a look at some safety issues. In the United States, electrical potentials more than 48 volts are considered dangerous to human life. Although people have survived electrical shocks exceeding thousands of volts and lightning strikes carrying millions of joules of energy, everyone should treat their electricity with caution and respect. Voltage is not the only concern, however. Current in the milliamp range can stop a normal heart under certain conditions. For example, the National Institute for Occupational Safety and Health estimates that as little as 20 milliamps at 110 volts AC, the common utility voltage, can paralyze respiratory muscles. All equipment and sources of voltage and current, such as the item under test, should not be powered when making connections between sensors, actuators, or other components in the data acquisition system. This is especially critical when using current transformers and measuring high voltages and AC current. Accurate measurements depend on accurate equipment and robust connections. Poor connections and noise picked up through unshielded leads and circuits that are not properly grounded will certainly yield the wrong data. Package sensors deliver accurate output signals when they are designed with component shielding, filtering, bypassing, and ground connections properly placed. Unprotected sensors, however, such as thermocouples and strain gauges, often are exposed to numerous types of noise signals that can couple into the sensors and leads and contaminate the desired signal. Those of you who install such sensors must follow industry accepted practices to make sure that the sensors output signals are reliable, unbiased and free of noise and interference. Data acquisition systems usually contain integrated circuit signal conditioners and multiplexers at their input terminals. These ICs typically can't handle more than about plus and minus 10 volts DC input, although some special units may tolerate as much as plus and minus 25 volts DC. One way around the limitation is to place a voltage divider on the system's input terminals that reduces the voltage to meet the IC's specifications. Some systems are manually switched to the proper range, while others select the range automatically. In addition, after properly connecting the sensors, the item under test, and the data acquisition system, apply power first to the data acquisition system. Next, energize the sensors, and finally the item under test. Some data acquisition systems can be damaged when voltages are applied to their inputs while they are not powered. Voltages greater than about 24 volts DC are considered high voltage in data acquisition system terms. Built-in or external voltage dividers and special signal conditioners are needed for dividing tens or hundreds of volts down to just 10 volts or less to protect the instrument's input circuitry. One critical consideration for the safety of both the equipment and the operator is to use high voltage insulation in wires, terminals, connectors, leads, sensors, and other components to prevent leakage and arcing to low potential terminals and nearby objects. Compared to high voltages, successfully measuring low level DC signals depends upon appropriate wiring techniques between the signal source and the data acquisition device. Input amplifier stages and signal conditioning equipment cannot distinguish between the measured signal and the noise voltage coupled into lead wires. When measuring signals less than 1 volt, shielded or unshielded twisted pairs provide the best protection against noise voltage pickup. Best wiring practices call for shields to be grounded at one end only, preferably at the signal source. General purpose data acquisition systems often measure low level AC voltages on the secondary of loaded current transformers, step down potential transformers, clamp on current probes, current sensing resistors, or sensors lacking galvanic isolation. 
All these low-level AC voltages must have a low common mode voltage component with respect to earth ground or float with minimal AC leakage. Also, connect the voltage source return to earth ground when necessary. To view the remainder of this tutorial, please visit the on-demand tutorials in the resources section on Measurement Computing's website at www.mccdac.com.